Big sunflowers are universally popular. Kids love them. It's great fun seeing who can grow the tallest or the largest head. But quite honestly, uh, the wind can punish them terribly. But fortunately, these days, we have pretty well every height of sunflower from 10 foot down to a foot. And these uh, shorter growing kinds are very good garden plants. Um, most of them that grow to about uh, two foot down to a foot are multi-headed. So once the first flower has gone over, and they can go over in a couple of weeks or so, then there's a whole series of flower buds to come up behind. You just deadhead and they keep flowering. And there's one thing, when you sow a row across the allotment or in the veg plot, they can come up quite thick. And surprisingly, even when they're in bud like this, they can be thinned out and the thinning's used. You'll need to get a trowel and, and it will need to go in really hard all the way around. Let's just see if I can show you a bit better there. Yes, it's starting to move already. Get right down under it and then you can lift it with a complete ball of soil and all that root. And if you pop that up, it will wilt for two or three days. Keep it very well watered in a nice shady place. It will root out. And if you have them in pots, these were lifted just 10 days ago. One of the beauty of these, <laughs> if the sunflowers are facing the wrong way, you know, <laughs> you just turn the pot round. Very adaptable and useful plants. If you sow at a two or three week interval in April, May, then you'll get a succession of flowers as well as the beauty of multi-headed stems.